while last week's episode hit us heavy with the Deacon, Jesse romance, this episode cools down on that in order to focus on other storylines. An article from CMT reminds us that each of the new couple's kids absolutely abhors the idea of their parents dating. Various disturbing methods are continuing to impact Juliet, and how are former exes Scarlett and Gunnar along with Will and Avery doing in their fields of choice? Let's begin. Daphne and Jake work together. Maddie tells Deacon that Gunnar, Will, and Avery are playing in a show and Daphne wants to attend. Deacon says that Jesse will be there, and then she quickly rescinds her offer to join them. That day at school, Daphne and Jake, Jesse's son for those who need reminding are, of course, paired together to work on a science project. Well, this should be interesting. Grimace Nashville CMT pick.twitter.com slash 2 and 4 GWV. Nashville on CMT at Nashville East, January 26, 2018. Jake gets nauseous when he sees Daphne dissecting the frog, and he exits the class. Daphne follows him and Jake admits his dad will be livid about this, and how hard he is on him. Jake says that his dad's a Nazi while also insulting Deacon, something that Daphne doesn't take lightly. They then get caught out in the hallway by a teacher. On the way home from school, Daphne rants to Maddie about how weird Jake's behavior can be at times. Later, she asks her father if he's still mad about their whole court ordeal from season 4, but he assures her that it's in the past, but he does seem concerned about what Jock is telling Daphne. He subsequently calls Jesse, and she reassures him that it's all good. Jake is mad at Daphne because he thinks she told her dad about what Jake said, but she reveals that she told her sister who probably did tell her dad. The two clear the air between them and establish a little friendly repertoire. Maybe these two will finally learn to tolerate one another, something that they'll have to inevitably do if they become step-siblings like they fear. Avery, Gunner, and Will try group cohesiveness at the concert. The newly formed band consisting of Avery, Gunner, and Will puts on a fantastic performance filled with high energy and catchy beats, but Avery notes that their performance was decent but needed work after the show when he calls Juliet. Juliet quotes Darius when telling Avery to keep it, it with his performance with Gunner and Will, and it sends them into yet another debate about Darius and his legitimacy. It ends up chasing Avery off the phone and frustrating Juliet. These two cannot seem to agree on anything, worried Nashville CMT pick.twitter.com slash igrib8s, Nashville on CMT at Nashville East, January 26, 2018 Avery gets back to the team after talking to Juliet, and we have a fun scene that involves the trio, Jesse, and Deacon. She fits into the group rather well despite her Timberlake obsession. Deacon tells them to figure out what their sound is as a group instead of three different solo performers, and they may get an opportunity sooner rather than later. In the meantime, the boys well, Will is debating with the guys about changing Gunner's song because it sounds too emo. Gunner notes that between his spotlight hogging and his hyped up personality lately, he's getting annoyed by him. Gunner will hopefully put two and two together and remember what he saw Will taking last week. Finally, Gunner and Will blow up at each other over the song, and Avery plays mediator to try to get the guys to calm down. Avery asks for advice about the boys from Gunner before changing the topic to Juliet and how she seems. He confides in Deacon about how spooky it is that Darius has got such an emotional and mental grip on Juliet, and how it reminds him of a former classmate who joined a cult and was never the same after he eventually got out, and is afraid that Juliet is headed down the same path. Deacon tells Avery to give it a little more time to truly see what's going on, and he reluctantly agrees to do so. He also gives the boys a pep talk once he sees them again. He's pretty good at giving advice this week. The boys decide to do a cover of NSYNC's It's Tearing Up My Heart, much to Jesse's happiness, and all seems right with those three, until Will checks himself out in a mirror, and is more than likely tempted to continue using his steroids. Darius probes Juliet's mind. The International Business Times stated that Juliet's mind was going to be probed by Darius in this week's episode, and they weren't joking. On her way back to Darius, Juliet overhears someone crying and questions what it was. Darius indirectly answers the question and tells her he wants to re-explore her childhood's happy moments again, only that this happy memory looks to be her mother using herself and a nine-year-old Juliet to entertain a man she refers to as her uncle and he gives them money as a result. That turned dark fairly quickly. Juliet wants to stop but of course, Darius encourages her to do otherwise. Juliet meets with Hallie Hate, Rihanna and Giddens, for lunch and voices some concerns about how she may have to relive dark experiences in order to overcome them. 
We've missed this too. Welcome back at Rhiannon Giddens, Smile Two Hearts Mike Nashville CMT Pick. Twitter.com slash MK7 UF4 Lanku, Lionsgate TV at Lionsgate TV January 26, 2018. We get to see a beautiful performance from Hallie and Deacon at the Bluebird where Avery reunites with Juliet for the evening. After, Juliet tells Deacon how amazing her time with Darius has been but quickly leaves when Avery goes to meet up with the two. The next day, Juliet is told that she's going to be witnessing the term Darius used in reference to the crying woman she overheard earlier in the episode. This is easily the most cultish scene so far, as Juliet looks as if she's about to go through an exorcism and maybe she is since Darius wants to extract past memories out of her. It's then revealed that Juliet is subsequently by the man who she called uncle after being allowed to do so by her mother and has an emotional breakdown. It's a truly traumatic and heartbreaking scene that Hayden Panettiere nails perfectly. If you or someone you know has been the victim of abuse, contact the National Sexual Assault Hotline, a free, confidential, resource for anyone affected by ill violence. It is accessible 24-7 by phone 800.656, hope and online https colon slash slash t.co slash z60 made jdq5. At reyna one pictwittercom slash y1j1jav, Nashville on CMT at Nashville East, January 26, 2018. Juliet takes some time to process what happened to her, and Darius replies that now that she's changed her life, she has all the time in the world. She says that her mother has taken everything from her and still manages to even though she's dead. Darius tells Juliet that she deserves to be loved and happy and that with his training, she'll be a completely different person when it's over, which is just what Avery was afraid of. Scarlett works at an equine therapy ranch. After seeing the advertisement for equine therapy on TV, Scarlett has decided to join the others at the ranch to help out, and just like that, she's in. She gets shown around the ranch and meets all these beautiful horses, and it's noted that the horses also help the teens who help take care of them. It's a give-and-take relationship, and Scarlett's told not to interfere with the group that she's supposed to watch. The obstacle of today involves the kids getting the horses to jump over a fence. One of the kids gets mad at Scarlett after thinking she's laughing at her, but she tells the teen otherwise. Her boss then tells her that their work is sensitive and she isnt allowed to say things like that to them. She tells Scarlett to clean the stables. That night, Scarlett sees someone named Sean decline to try and comfort a horse. This time, she consciously does not get herself involved. The next day, Scarlett admits she hasn't felt useful yet and just wants to help. It's then when the teen from before breaks down and is finally comforted by the horse. Such a sweet moment, two hearts Nashville CMT pick.twitter.com slash youns, Nashville on CMT at Nashville East, January 26, 2018. Scarlet watches Sean sneak in to feed the horse, but he ends up scaring him. Scarlet stops the horse from fleeing and calms her down, and she's finally praised by the boss for helping out and also notes that Sean is her nephew. Hmm, new love interest on the horizon guess we'll see soon enough. Tonight's episode was major progression for Juliet's storyline, while Will and Scarlett's storylines are starting to progress faster. Daphne, Avery, and Gunner's storylines are progressing well too, although Gunner seems to be the most filler why right now while Avery will ultimately deal with the fallout from what happens when his and his wife's storylines collide. Catch Nashville every Thursday night at 9 on CMT. Nashville Season 6 Nashville CMT Nashville Juliet